So we've talked about how plugins can be very simple or much more advanced. We've seen a couple of examples of very simple plugins, but now I wanna give you a look at the other side of the spectrum. If you wanna get a lot more advanced with WordPress and start selling your own products, whether they be physical products that you have to ship or digital products that your customers will just download, you're gonna need an e-commerce solution to facilitate that. And WooCommerce is the most popular e-commerce solution for WordPress. WooCommerce is actually made by the company behind WordPress, Automatic. So it's open source, it's built on the same standards as WordPress itself, and it's supported by an equally vibrant community. So let's take a quick look at the process of installing it and setting it up. So I've set up a fresh WordPress site here. I called it Brad's Store. And we're just gonna go straight into installing WooCommerce. So we'll go to the plugin section, add new, and search for WooCommerce. So it's gonna be this first one here. Click install now and activate. So once you've activated WooCommerce, it's gonna take you to this wizard that's gonna help you configure your new store. The first thing it's gonna ask for is your address. So this is gonna configure things like currency, shipping, taxes, things of that nature in an automated way. I'm gonna skip this. And the next question is about your industry. So just select the most appropriate option and click continue. Now it's gonna ask you what types of products will be listed on your store. Uh, for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna go with physical products. And then we will click continue. Here it wants to know how many products you plan to display. I'm gonna hit one through 10. And it's asking if you're currently selling elsewhere. We're just going to say no. Here it's going to offer you some additional features through free WooCommerce extensions, which are effectively WordPress plugins. And you can see specifically which plugins are going to be installed here. To keep things as simple as possible for this example, I'm going to skip all of these for now. And we'll click continue. And here we can choose a theme. Now you can keep your currently active theme by all means, or you can switch to a theme that is known to be compatible with WooCommerce. So some themes just aren't gonna be optimized with the features and design elements you need for a store. So that's why they have this option here. And you can filter by paid themes or free themes if you prefer. Now, as you can see, Cadence, one of my go-to themes, is available in this list, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Now that we've done that, we're back in the WordPress dashboard, and you can see a lot of things have been added to the menu. We've got a WooCommerce menu, we've got products, we've got analytics, and we've got marketing. So under the WooCommerce menu, you've got Home, which is this sort of dashboard page that has a lot of like suggestions to get you started, uh, things of that nature. Then you can go to orders to see the orders that have come in from your customers. On the customers page, you'll have a list of your customers and some various information about them. And you can see a list of coupons that you've created for your store, uh, which actually pops you over to the marketing tab, just sort of a duplicate link for that menu. Under reports, you can see some sort of analytics and data about your sales, sales by product, sales by category. You can look at some customer data, inventory data, stuff like that. And then we can go to settings to configure your store's global settings. So a lot of this is gonna be what you configured in the wizard, but there are some more options here. And if you're setting up a store, Obviously, I recommend you go through all of these menus and just make sure that everything is in line with the store that you're trying to build. We've got shipping options, 
payment options. And here you can configure which payment options your store accepts. So you've got WooCommerce payments. You can install that and that allows you to accept credit cards, debit cards, and other popular payment methods like Apple Pay and Google Pay. You can also set up in-person payments, uh, check payments, cash on delivery, things of that nature. And if you want to discover other payment providers, you can do so here. So that would be things like Stripe or PayPal. And I would recommend going through all of those to get to know the various fee structures and determine what is going to work the best for your business. Accounts and privacy, you can decide if you want to allow guest checkout, configure the account creation process, um, make sure you're in compliance with account erasure requests, privacy policy stuff, personal data retention. And then you can configure your email notifications. So these are the emails that are going to be sent by your website when certain things happen. So when there's a new order, you can get a notification to your admin email address. Same thing with a canceled order, a failed order. And then you can set up the emails that the customer is going to receive. Order on hold, uh, processing order, completed order, refunds, customer invoice. All of these things are going to be sent to the customer. And if you want to customize these or disable them, you can use the manage button over here on the right. Down here at the bottom, you can customize the email sender. So the from name and the from address that people are gonna be receiving emails from. And then you can customize your email template at the bottom to make sure your language and your colors and stuff like that are in line with your brand. There are a lot of ways to extend WooCommerce uh, and it's done through extensions, which again are just like WordPress plugins. And you can view those here and add whatever extensions and functionality that your individual store needs. Now getting into the fun part, let's go ahead and create a product. So if you go to your products, you can see we don't have any products yet. So we'll go ahead and create a product now. It'll give you a little wizard here. You can uh, type your product name here, add your product description, product data, like your price, inventory, shipping, all that stuff. Product short description, this appears on the product page, like directly below the product title. Product image over here. Product tags, which are very similar to the tags on your posts. Just a way to organize your content. Product categories, same thing. But do keep in mind that these categories and these tags are separate from your post categories and post tags. These lists are specific to your products. And finally, you can go ahead and publish your product or save it as a draft if you wanna come back later. So we'll go ahead and add a product here. We're just gonna say headphones of no particular brand denomination. Um, and you'll see the permalink becomes slash product slash headphones. We can enter a description here. And then we're gonna add a product image. So we'll click set product image, drag this image in, and click set product image. Now down in the product data, we're gonna enter a regular price. We'll say 199. And we'll say it's on sale for $149, just as an example. You can also schedule your sale if you want it to be from a certain date to a certain date. We're just gonna keep it on sale indefinitely. And when we preview this, you can see what your product page is gonna look like. Now, obviously we haven't really configured this theme yet. It looks pretty basic, but this is a pretty standard nice looking e-commerce page that we just configured in, I mean, we configured the whole store in a few minutes and this product in just really a matter of seconds. So this really demonstrates just how powerful WooCommerce is, but also how powerful WordPress is. Just a few minutes ago, this was a totally blank website with uh, no content or functionality whatsoever. And now it's a fully functional e-commerce store that's almost ready to accept payments. 
So once again, this really showcases the power of WordPress plugins. And you can imagine just how many things you can do with this when you start getting into WooCommerce extensions to add more functionality to your store itself.